one of the most beautiful prayers of surahs in the Quran. That is Surah Al-Muzdammil and Surah Al-Muddassir. Both start in the same way because the literal meanings of Muzdammil and Muddassir are the same. One who is lying down wrapped in some cloak or in some blanket. Now actually what was this? This depicts and denotes a period of deep reflection and thought in which Muhammad Wasallam was engaged. Before the beginning of Wahi, he was engaged in deep thought about what this universe is, who am I, why is there injustice in this world, why are people going wrong. In the loneliness of the cave of Hira, what did he do? Kana sifatu taabudhi fi ghar al Hira at tafakkuru wal aitebar. Contemplation, thinking, pondering. This was the state of affairs when you know the first way he came. Now after that, he was again. He was still in that condition of deep reflection and thought. And it was the habit of the Arabs. Whenever they were engrossed in some deep thought, they would take some cloak or some blanket and, you know, wrap around them and lie down some in some corner and thinking, lonely. So the condition of the Prophet still remained the same. Now, the major issue was, what a burden has come to me. What will happen to me? What is this mission that has been entrusted to me? How can I fulfill the, condition, the requirements? So this was the thought. In this background, both these surahs appear. And you will find the same word of command. Ya ayyu al-muzzamil, qum. Ya ayyu al-muddassir, qum. Now give up this contemplation and thought and now stand up and start your mission. So this is the background of these two words. So let us begin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya Yuhal Muzzammil. O the one enfolded in your robes. Come, stand up. Come in Layla. Keep standing the whole night. Illa Qalila. Except a small part of it. Nisfahu. Half of it. Abin Qusmin Ho Qalila. Or you can diminish out of it somewhat. Awzir Alayhi. Or add something to the half. And what do you do? Rattilil Quran Tartila. Keep on, keep on reciting Quran. Bit by bit. Slowly. Hammer it down. This is the third wahi that came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The first wahi, the five ayat in the beginning of Surah Al-Alaq. Iqra bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Iqra wa rabbuk al-akram. الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم. The second one is seven ayat. أصورة القلم we read yesterday last night. نون والقلم وما يسترون ما أنت بنعمة ربك بمجنون وإن لك لا أجر غير ممنون وإن لك لا على خلق عظيم فستبصر ويبصرون بأيكم المفتون إن ربك هو يعلم هو عالم بمن ضل عن سبيله وهو عالم بالمهتدين. Third way is this. Oh, the one lying wrapped down in your cloak. Keep vigilant, keep standing the whole of night, except a little of it, half of it. Or you can diminish a bit. That is at least one third. Or you add so that it becomes two thirds of the night. And what we do? Recite the Quran. Distinctly, 
and in slow and mere tone. And how much Quran was revealed up till that time? <laughs> what did it mean? Repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Go on repeating. This is what I call hammering down. Hammer it down. It should be absorbed in each and every cell of your body. This will give you the strength for the mission that is going to be entrusted to you. You are already, as regards basic human morality, you are already on, a, already on a very high pedestal. But for this mission, something else is needed. And you have to gather that strength, spiritual strength, in order to be able to fulfill the requirements of this mission. And that you will get from Quran. Hammer it down. Inna salulki alayka qawlan saqeela. Soon we are going to cast upon you a very heavy word, a very hard task. What that word and task is going to be, that you will find in the next surah, Al-Muddassir. Inna nashiyat al-laylihi ashad wat am waqwa muqeela. Surely, this keeping vigilant during the night is very effective in trampling the animal self of a man. This id and libido, the animal instincts, you have to trample over them. And this keeping awake during the night is very effective. And akwa And in that, when you are alone in the stillness of night, night, calm, no noise, no disturbance, and then you are standing before your Lord and having a conversation. So now each word that comes out of your mouth goes straight. Akwa mokilila. There's no hindrance, no bar, no barrier. Inna laka fin nahari sabhan tarila. Verily during the day, you have a prolonged occupation. You have to go out, go about, meet people. And you have to discharge other duties also. So this is the time, night is actually, which is the most effective part. And you devote it at least one third. Maybe two-third, but normally half of it. And I, when we started this program, on the first day I told you that this Qiyam Ramadan, when the Prophet says, Man Sama Ramadana, Mufira Lahu Ma Taqadama Min Zambi, Wa Man Qama Ramadana, this Sama Ramadan and Qama Ramadan, they are parallel. You keep fast during the whole of the day. And Kaaba Ramadana, only one hour of the Trabi? Is it sufficient? No. The same, at least one third, half, maybe if you can, two thirds of the night. That is the, the Qiyam, according to the Quran. Otherwise, you know. And when the Prophet said, as well, Quranu Yashwadililabd. This fasting and keeping awake and standing during the night, both will intercede before the Lord on the day of judgment on behalf of the persons who are doing it. Yaqulu Sayyamu Ayrab Manatuh Taama Vashavat Mid Nahar. The Psalm, the Sayyam, the fasting will say, Oh, my Lord, I kept this servant of yours from eating and drinking and other things during the day. Fashafrenifi, accept my intercession on his behalf. And Quran will say, Yaqulul Quran, Manatuhun Noma Billail. I kept him away from sleeping during the night. Fashafrenifi, so accept my intercession on his behalf. And the Prophet said, Fayushafan, both. The intercession of both will be accepted. So this keeping away from sleep, is it for one hour? Taravi? Does this fulfill the purpose? Not at all. But this is good that Hazrat Umar decided about it. Not every person can do it. 
it is correct. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't make it obligatory. But whosoever can do, whosoever can take one month off, let him pass that one month with Quran out of the 12 months of the year. Let him keep one month exclusive for Quran. This can be done. Generally speaking, all the servants of the government, etc., they are given one month leave. You don't go for any recreation, etc., etc. You recreate your spirituality through Quran during that month. Possible. But Allah be thanked, some of the brothers have been at least keeping awake for at least one third or half of the night with us, alhamdulillah. Maybe this proves to be beneficial for them. This is very beautiful, you know, this address to Muhammad sallallahu at a very personal level. And oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Always keep remembering our name. Keep remembering the name of your Lord. And devote yourself wholly and solely to Him. That is, completely detached from all others. Completely disconnecting all hopes from anybody else except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This tabattul is something very great. Don't have any hope from any other person. All your hopes to Allah. This is tabattul. Come close to Him. Disconnect it from the others. Not the way that you go to some, you know, some cave and sit there and give up this society. No, no. You be with them. But when you are with them, be with Allah. This is tabattul. Rabbul Mashraq wal Maghrib la ilaha illahu He is the Lord of the East and the Lord of the West. There is no God except He. Fattakhiz ho wakila. So you take Him as your guardian. Tabakul or Allah only and only. Cut off all the hopes from others. Focus your hopes on Allah. Cut off your trust from all others. Focus your trust. In Allah. And bear patiently what they are saying about you. They are saying he has gone mad, gone crazy. Maybe he has been possessed by some evil spirit. He says some angel came to me in, when I was there in Hira. Maybe some demon, maybe some evil spirit has come. Listen it. And take it patiently. Wahjurhum hajran jamila. And leave their company. But in a beautiful way. In Surah Maharaj we, we read, Wasbir sabran jamila. Endure. But this endurance should be in a very beautiful way. In the same way, you discard yourself. But in a beautiful way. Not fighting with them. Quarreling with them, no? Wazarni wal mukazzabina ulin na'ma. And leave me and these who are belying you, who have been given luxuries and comforts of life. Mahil hum kalila. Give them respite. Don't think that immediately their cases should be settled and judgment should be passed. No, no. Mahil hum kalila. Give them respite. Inna ladaina an kalam wa jahima. We can deal with them when the time comes. We have the heavy fetters for them. And the raging fire already prepared for them. But aman wa And for them we have the food that will choke their throats. There is a qum. Wa azaban alima. And a very painful chastisement. يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الْأَرْضُ وَالْجِبَالِ When the day on which the earth and the mountains will shake like anything, the kanatil jibalu kasiba mahila, and the mountains will become 
like a sleeping sand, heap of sand, not hard, just the flowing and sleeping sand. إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْكُمْ رَسُولًا شَاهِدًا عَلَيْكُمْ Surely, O people of Makkah, O Quraysh, O the people of the Arabian Peninsula, we have sent towards you a messenger to be a witness against you on the Day of Judgment. He will testify on the Day of Judgment. Wallah, your message, which came to me through Jibreel, I had conveyed it to the people. Now they are responsible. Kamar Just as we had sent to Fir'aun a messenger, that is Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Fa'asa Fir'aun Rasul. But Fir'aun disobeyed the messenger. Fa'akhaznahu akhzam wabila. So we seized him with a severe seizure. Drowned them all. فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ So now, if you belie and reject Muhammad, how will you be saved? If Firaun could not be saved, the king of Egypt, who has claimed to be God, Allah رَبُّكُمُ الْعَلَىٰ He must drown. فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ How will you be saved? إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ If you also take to the same attitude, of rejecting our messenger. Yawman yajalul wildana shiba on the day. This will make the children old, grey haired. Long day. And we have read the opinion according to some of the Mufassareen. This Khamsuna Alpha Juhe. Surah Maharaj me aya. Bikdaruhu Khamsina Alpha Sana. That is for the day of judgment. The heaven is about to burst with that day. The day is there, loaded in the Sama. And his promise will definitely be fulfilled. The day will come. This heaven will burst. Is a shakkat is samao. We have read it in Surah Rahman. Inna hazihi tazkirah. Verily, this is the reminding. This is the admonition. Faman shah attakhada ila rabbihi sabila. So whosoever wills, he can take that path towards his Lord. But there is no compulsion. Like Raha Fiddin, as I quoted the ayah in the Juma sermon today. Like Raha Fiddin. Choice is yours. Imma shakiram wa imma kafura. Waman shaaf al yumin, waman shaaf al yakfur. Now the second section. This is generally supposed to be one ayah. But I have been at a very great loss to understand this ayah. And I thought this cannot be one ayah revealed at one time. And thank God I got the confirmation. The book which can be regarded as the encyclopedia on Quran, Al Itqan fi Ulum al Quran, by Jalaluddin Sayyuti. In that I found that Abdullah ibn Abbas, ta'ala anhuma, he said that this is actually, these are two ayat, or one ayah, but half of it was revealed nearly an year later than this. And the half of it was revealed about ten years later. Now this strict, strict prescription, at least one third, better half, and maybe if you can, two third of the night standing. Naturally we can understand. It couldn't be kept, you know, permanently. It's nearly impossible. So there had to be some concessions. But those concessions came gradually. After about a year, or according to some traditions, 16 months, the first part of the ayah came. Then after 10 years, and maybe after the hijrah, the rest of the ayah was revealed. Inna rabbaka ya'lamu, verily, your Lord knows. Allaka taqoomu adnan in sulasayya al-layli wa nisfahu wa sulasahu. 
that you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, keep vigilant and standing before him nearly two thirds of the night, or half of it, or at least one third of it, and not only you, but I, Fatum min al lazina maak, and also a group from among them who are with you, your companions, who have believed in you, they are also doing it. Because there was no other prayer till that time. Only prayer during the night. But, Wallahu yuqaddiru layla wa nahar. Allah has fixed the mayors of the night and the day. Alema lan tuhsuhu. He knows it very well that you cannot keep it like that. It is not possible for you to continue it permanently. Faqrahu ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. So now this, that it must be at least one third of night, this is now removed from you. Whatever you can do easily. How much Quran you can recite easily, okay, continue with it. Now this was the first concession that was granted about a year or sixteen months later. For a year or sixteen months, this was the practice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. But then, the next part of the ayah, which I think was revealed ten years later, and maybe during the Madani period. Aliman sayakunu minkum marda. Allah knows that some of you will be falling sick. Wa'akharuna yadribuna fil lard. And there will be others traveling in the earth, in the land. Yabtaguna min fawdillah. To seek the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is for trading, taking caravans to, to Syria or to Yemen. How can during those, those travels you can keep this course? And there will be others who will be going to fight in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for these people it won't be possible. So, second step. Okay, whatsoever is possible during the night, you read, you recite. But now the emphasis is on other thing. What is that other thing? Establish these five prayers, stick to them. That is the badal of it. In lieu of that, Aqimu salata wa atu zakah, wa akhridu Allah qazan hasana. And go on giving Allah the goodly loan. Spend in His way. Spend in His cause. And whatsoever you will send for yourselves from khair, whatever good you send before you, whatever you have spent in this world, it is as if you have sent it for yourself for the hereafter. If some of the politicians of Pakistan they have their bank deposits in America. So they will come very easily here. If they say, go out from Pakistan, okay, salam alaikum. We are going. No worry. We have a lot there. So whosoever has deposit, deposited his money in the divine bank, if death comes to him, will he be worried? I am going where my wealth is. That's waiting for me. You will find it there with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only in the original form that you sent, much better form. And very great in recompense and reward. And keep asking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Allah Verily, Allah is forgiving, merciful.